Hello guys, this is Frank and welcome to another Let's Build series. Now this is going to be for a PvP map. Um, yeah, in the size 150 times 150 blocks. So not a really huge one. It's uh, some friends of mine who's uh, making a PvP game, which uh, seems like it will be a lot of fun. And yeah, they're going to need uh, a few maps uh, for it. Um, around this size, uh, I'll possibly make it a bit smaller actually, because now when I'm looking at it, uh, I feel that it's very, very big, <laughs> actually. Wow, <laughs> much bigger than I thought. But um, there's going to be a few maps to choose from, um, just like in um, a lot of uh, fast-paced PvP games where you play short matches, uh, you know, games like Quakecraft and stuff like that. Now, this game is not going to be like Quakecraft, it's going to be quite different. Um, I don't know really how much I can say about it because, and I'm not going to mention the friend's name either, because I don't know how secret this PvP game is for now. So I'll just keep those details for myself for the time being, and uh, we'll just see, see how it works out. But I wanted to, I wanted to record as I was doing it because uh, what I'm going to do is that first. Uh, when you asked me if I could uh, do a map, I actually started making one uh, on the spot uh, in um, quite a simple one as well. I was starting uh, to work with things in World Edit, just uh, make a landscape and such. But um, yeah, I came pretty far on that and started placing down the buildings needed. And uh, But then I just felt that the design was a bit, a bit boring and uninspiring and that it wouldn't quite work very well for PvP. Because one thing um, you have to think about when it comes to PvP maps such as that is that you want you don't just want like one flat surface or even though it wasn't one flat surface there was actually quite a lot of mountains and terraforming into it but still in a good PvP map you want a lot of different levels um, a lot of different heights uh, for people to walk around in so people can shoot from uh, down below and up, up high and stuff like that to really make it a nice and dynamic game because otherwise it's just going to be a lot of people shooting at each other from basically the same level and that's not going to be so interesting and it won't allow for a lot of start strategy. So after I've done my first trial map um, I decided that I wanted to do something else and I started to think about kind of a Candleland theme um, PvP map and uh, that's fun to make like i set up like a mini candleland pvp map on the survival server uh, just for a little area for pvp but um, but i kind of felt that even though candleland theme is fun it has been done a lot like basically all servers i know with uh, with pvp maps has at least one candleland themed pvp map because it's fun it's colorful and you know it's a yeah it's it's a good theme it's a good theme to use but I felt that I wanted to do something different and first I was thinking about kind of like pipe work you know um, just just gray and uh, you know sewage sewage pipe work pipe work really but after a while I started to think no that's a bit boring too and then it hit me that okay pipes modular hamster cages in a lot of different colors um, some of them being all solid, some of the pipes being transparent glass, and some of them being a mix of both. That could really look really, really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys know what they look like, but if you haven't seen a modular hamster cage, um, just go to Google, Google Images and search for it, and they can look quite amazing and quite cool, and just be like this crazy mis uh, <laughs> like this crazy mix of pipes going everywhere in a complete chaos and I thought that that would be a really really cool design um, for a PvP map. So I started to work on that. Um, been playing around a bit with shapes and sizes. Uh, first I made this one but I felt that it was all too large. Uh, it's just ridiculously large so I decided to make it a bit smaller. I don't think I can make it any smaller than this and kind of still you know, keep the illusion of it being kind of circular. And uh, also this shape, um, I want it to be uneven because just the turns and stuff 
of the pipes are just way, way easier to do if you work with uneven numbers instead of even ones. So yeah, this is, um, I think this can be good. I will make a different version of the pipes and then I'll just start building them together. Now, this map would be completely modular and be so easy to make new versions of, that is crazy. And that is uh, a kind of way I really, really, really like building. And I've done a lot of things like that in, in pictures as well. Like I've done a lot of pictures uh, in vector graphics, which uh, people can combine together to make uh, make uh, like comics and stuff like that. So it's going to be fun to work that way for the first time in Minecraft. I haven't before, I don't know why, because it actually seems quite sensible. But yeah, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'll probably create a bit more of pipes and uh, then, I'll, then I'll be back. So I've made a few more uh, turns and things over here, like randomly floating in the air. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and I started combining a few together uh, to get uh, kind of an impression of uh, what kind of pipes I will be needing. Um, now, of course, it won't just be straight pipes and these turning pipes. I think I will also need pipes um, with a four way crossing. I will have, um, I will need pipes going downwards and upwards, and also straight pipes with, um, um, yeah, with a four way crossing up and down as well. And I'm also thinking that I should possibly make a few pipes with turns that are a bit smoother. Now that will be a bit complicated to make because, hmm, if I do it like a nice round circle like that, it will work out quite well. But if I want it to be in kind of a bit of a more of a diagonal fashion, there is a risk that that will look very weird and kind of don't feel like it fits in with the rest. But maybe I will make some other kind of way um, to make turns like that because mod modular hamster cages, yeah, they do have a bit more stuff to add into them than pipes. So I think I'll look at there for a bit of inspiration and also make all the lovely four way crossings and stuff like that. It's going really well to just combine them together, it's just really a copy and paste with world edit. So this is going to be. I don't think this will take a billion years to make. But on the other hand, that is something I always say, and I tend to be wrong. <laughs> so we'll see. I guess if I'm going to be lazy, the easiest way to make a four-way crossing is to find the middle and measure out the middle from there, copy it, rotate it, and paste it. Let's see. This might go horribly wrong. Uh, hmm. That looks good, I think. Indeed. Well, that was simple. Took a few seconds. <laughs> oh. World edit. Such a handy tool. And so cheaty. Like, I, I remember before I had world edit myself, I was just really building in single player. And, well, I guess single player commands has world edit as well. But it's just that every while when I was building, it was like, it was kind of like I was a bit too lazy to actually install it and I thought no nah, what does that matter what does that matter and uh, now I don't know how I would be supposed to live without it while while doing big projects no wonder I could never finish a big project before <laughs> or actually I have finished quite a lot of big projects come to think of it but when it comes to making maps such as these I don't really see point in not using it. Okay, so from looking at a few more pictures of modular hamster catches, I see that quite a lot of them have quite a smooth slope actually going down, which totally makes sense actually and would be quite good to have in the PvP game as well. Um, just real quick, I made some, let's give me a bit more of speed here so we can go and check. Um, I did make these turns, like these four, uh, four way crossings, or actually six ways, I guess here. And the way to travel up and down here is going to be mm, not optimal, actually. So I think that these four way crossings that just go straight down and straight up, there won't be a lot of them. And I will try to make a few ones with smoother slopes, which you can just walk up and down with your character. And I hope that will look good and not completely derpy, but yeah. 
I'm trying it out here. Due to the nature of this, uh, uh, due to the nature of this PvP game as well, it is going to be. Gosh, what am I doing here? <laughs> um. Oh gosh, I I wish I could give you guys some details about it because some things would be so much easier to explain why I do the choices I do if you had more information but I don't really dare share it in this video before I know if it's okay or not so yeah but due to the nature of it like as you saw in the crossing um, the six-way crossing going all four ways and then up and down there was kind of a lot of ladders there were like f four, four ladders when I mean, I guess that usually you just need one. But yeah, there are reasons as to why that would be needed. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks so weird. Uh, <laughs> it looks like the pipe like, went all sad <laughs> all of a sudden. Okay, so we start adding a bit more here. How would that look? Um, I think that a lot of the pipe work will not just be copying, copying and pasting pipes, actually. Um, at first, that was the plan. But after considering the movement and uh, how to play it, I realized that quite a lot of pipes will be have to be made manually like this, which is not something I mind uh, at all. So, so it's completely fine. It's um, I just actually think it will make it more fun because, well, yeah, just copying and pasting stuff mm, can get a bit boring in the end. Okay. Um. I don't like this turn. I think it looks looks weird, so I'm removing this. I think I'll try it with the smoother slope. So I decided to redo it with the smoother slope, and oh, that's not look good. Huh? That's better. So it's much smoother now, and it feels like this will work quite fine to move up and down, and it looks a lot better from the outside. A lot better. I do believe I will add uh, some glass windows to this. I don't know how big though, like this might be, like something like this might be enough. But I don't know how that will look. I guess we will see. I guess we will see. Now this modular housing cage, it won't only be pipes. Uh, it will be all sorts of fun stuff that you see in those modular hamster cages. There will be yeah, some some cage areas with like little play play places places to eat places to drink some hamster houses uh, running wheels of course we cannot forget the running wheels i wonder how that will work out in building though <laughs> we'll see it, it will probably work out fine it's just that usually when you make stuff like that in minecraft you usually need to get pretty big in size hmm Okay, so how does this little window look from inside? It's not big, but you can see out, which is good. I think I might add one in the roof and on the floor as well. Hello. There we go. Yes. This is something I could have done with world edit and the replace command, but you know, world edit is great, but if people use it for everything, a bit of the fun disappears, I feel. It's just like playing on a regular survivor server, but being admin on it, so you have creative mode and, and everything, like it takes a bit of fun out of it, actually, and it's, you know, when you do have access to things like that, it's it's very hard to do anything else but but being an admin, it's very hard to play on them. Um, what that has to do with world edit, I have no clue. But just just a just a random anecdote. Huh. I think I want to add like a smear here, maybe. Yeah, that could be cool. Hmm. the base of the th swear is made here for those of you who have watched my basic building tips you you would know how it was made 
and you will also know how this will be continued but at the moment I will not fill it in as I am not um, I am not 100% sure on um, on the placement of it I think the size is good but I'm not 100% sure about what I'm going to have inside of it and uh, what materials to use and which pipes to run from it and from where so yeah I won't fill it in until all of those details are sorted out but yeah even though it does look a bit wonky now, this would be a perfect swear indeed, I guarantee you. I guarantee. And if you wonder how to do it, you can check out the basic building tips um, about geometry. There's a lot of shapes in there, which can help you out greatly. Ah, oh, and I think that this is going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing in front of me how cool this will be. I'm so excited. So, yeah, still playing around with shapes and stuff. Seeing how, uh, seeing how things would go and look like. As I said before, I'll probably change a lot of these things around and I'll probably end up deleting um, a lot of what I make since this is um, the first time I'm using these kinds of shapes and it's hard to tell, it's really hard to tell actually how it's going to turn out before, before, before you have built a bit of them and tried it out and see how the traveling works and stuff. But as I said before, this is a map I am making for a friend actually. Um, to help out but I started thinking like what would an actual hamster PvP ba game be like like let's say I would like let's say we would make an actual hamster PvP game out of this instead um, like hmm I imagine that I don't know if there's any way to make your character, like with plugins, be able to climb walls and stuff, but that is something which would be very helpful then, of course, if you made something like that. And, uh, hmm. Also, I'm wondering, okay, so naturally there's going to be areas with sand and stuff where, where, the, where the hamster can, can, can do the dirty, un, uh, uh, the dirty dumping. So to say, like, let's say that your XP bar controlled how often you went there and like if your XP bar went empty or I guess full actually, considering what we're talking about here, uh, maybe you could get slowness <laughs> if you didn't do it regularly. And like if you go by an area with like hamster wheels and other like uh, play, play areas for the hamsters, like maybe you could get a speed boost because you became happy and um, yeah and I guess there would be kind of like food stations uh, because you need to eat uh, to, to get your health back and stuff or maybe it could be fun like hamster heaven PvP games maybe maybe it could be fun however I don't really know how you'd actually be fighting in that um, I kind of enjoy projectile PvP games more uh, because I'm way better at aiming and shooting people um, than I am at close combat I'm just so much better at aiming and shooting people. Uh, much more in vanilla Minecraft than games like uh, than games like Quakecraft. So I don't really know how the fighting would work, but you know, guys, maybe maybe you could hit me up with uh, suggestions in the comments because uh, if you kind of can think about, oh my god, the glass breaking sound is so loud. Uh, yeah, that's way better. So maybe you can hit me up like with ideas on how a, how an actual hamster PvP game would work. Because you know, I if we come up with any good ideas and it actually seems like something which would be fun to play. Like I don't see I don't see any harm with uh, making two maps um, in this fashion. <laughs> like th the only reason why I'm enjoying the thought of this game actually is for the part when you go and go and take a a dump because that's just my I my, my sense of humor is just so bad it's just so bad and I used to think that's so funny to have an element like that in a PvP game like oh my god you, you ruined them with slowness because um you because you're full of shit <laughs> I think that is so much fun um <sighs> But, according to my experience with this, it's just me and people who are like five years old who share my sense of humor when it comes to stuff like that. It is very mature, I guess. 
But yeah, if you have any ideas how the combat would look and any any other kind of suggestion, like hit me. Because if we if we come up with something which could be really fun, like I don't see, I I don't see why not. I really don't see why not. Could be cool. Could be cool. Hmm. Oh, this is so fun to make. It's so colorful. Oh guys, and if you're wondering, by the way, in the video why it's always bright, it's because I have a light plugin activated. It actually looks like this. This is very, very handy when building and also for recording, but sometimes it makes you forget to place lighting here and there. So it's something I have to consider and kind of double check now and then because this is a bit dark in spots. I also, I don't know, maybe it will be constant day in the maps, I would imagine so. So maybe there won't need to be lighting everywhere, but yeah, I'll have to remember that. But let's turn the light on again. Ah, wonderful brightness. I think, I was thinking about what I wanted to do with this sphere here. Um, first I was thinking having a lot of water in it, but then it kind of seemed like, nah, I don't know, a bit pointless. So I think I'll kind of do like, uh, oh, this will, this will take a while to fill in. So let's be, yeah, let's be, be shitty. Don't know how much actual time I saved on that. What? You know? What happened here? Oh, I broke some stuff. Strange. That should not have been broken, I'm pretty sure. Or? Very weird. Sometimes when I place blocks, just no matter how I place blocks, it seems that the blocks close to them uh, disappear. It's some kind of bucket bug, I believe which only seems to happen to admins and not to mods and not to players and well that's good at least because well if I lose a block I can just replace it with other problem but let's say um, a player was building something and they had maybe they had a diamond block and they placed something by the diamond block and the diamond block just disappeared uh, that could be a bit a bit frustrating just 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 a little bit just just a little bit frustrating so I'm happy it's just the uh, that it's a bug which only admin seems to get to no one else because otherwise it could be quite problematic for me it doesn't matter much like it can be a bit annoying um but really not n not big of an issue let's say so yeah place sand in here mm -hmm. actually maybe i should mix the sand up with hay or something to actually imitate how these hamster cage uh, stuff thingies which you put in there kind of look whatever they call in English I have no idea um what are they called in Swedish you know oh gosh I can't remember my my brain has burnt out it doesn't work anymore it seems okay so what does this look like from the outside then no yeah, it looks fine it looks fine um the glowstone is ugly for sure but yeah what you're gonna do you kind of need light so and I don't really think that using beacons for light would really fit here. And even though I do like the orange colors of the jack-o'-lanterns more, I'm not sure they would fit well either because of the, the annoying faces. Mm. Perhaps they could be placed in a way so you couldn't see them, but oh, I don't know, I don't know. I really hope more kinds of lights will be added to Minecraft eventually. I wish to. I wish for it for so, so long. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I know that Jeb has been talking about adding more things to the ocean bi biome. And who knows, maybe you get some kind of uh, glow-in-the-dark corals or something. That could be pretty cool, pretty cool. But perhaps they would only work in water. Hmm. I don't know. That would be pretty cool though. And um, maybe they could be like blue or. Mm, yeah, blue. Yeah, I would enjoy that. That would be cool. I would also really, really like an like, uh, actually white looking light of some kind. Um, when I used to play for the Beast, I used to use the white lamps so much because they just. It looked so, so cool. 
Okay, so let's take a look at this. Yeah, that, that looks fine, that looks fine. So I guess I'll add like a tiny little mound on th in here, maybe a tiny little, tiny little hamster house or something. I don't know. <laughs> wow. I will need about at least 20 times more pipes than this, I think. Should be, should be quite fun to see what it turns out like. So, at the moment, I feel that I'm kind of in a spot where I feel a bit stuck on how to join all the parts up and make the movement through the map natural. Because I don't really want to create a situation where you go around in circles all the time and you can't find your opponents. It should be relatively easy to do so and um, it should not require like an expert knowledge of the map either and to make it a good pvp map like there's going to be all of these uh, corridors and stuff uh, but there's also going to be places you can get to fairly eas easily which are a bit larger so yeah you can have some real fight outs here and stuff and and yeah i'm having a bit of a problem combining it in a fashion which i like uh, I built like a really <laughs> ugly little walkway here with like this um, little log cabin on top of it which um, didn't look particularly good and there was some nature on top here. I removed that. However, I really want some little house somewhere which would fit, maybe a spaceship, you know, all kinds of fun little things you find uh, in hamster cages uh, of this sort. Um, so what I'm doing here is kind of I'm um, starting to build a cage because naturally we are going to need like a main cage as well. I think um, I think this size might be a bit too big. I'm not sure yet. It might be really good once I add uh, add a bit of sand into it and like these walkways and stuff that you find in hamster cages. But you know, I'll have to try it and see and then lead some tubes away from it, which uh, goes up to these ones and I think I'll probably want another cage as well maybe a cage with water or I'll, or I will just do a swear for water somewhere but yeah need to work on that there will be a bit of planning and fiddling around with that but I'm uh, yeah. this can turn out really good or it can turn out really bad uh, once I come a bit further on the layout um, I guess I'll get some people to help me testing it and see see how natural it flows and stuff and see how, if it works at all. Otherwise, I will just have to scrap like most of it and start again. But thankfully, this has not taken a lot of time actually. It's gone way faster than I thought it would. So that's good at least. And it's a lot of fun. But I'll put an end to this video here and see you next time. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And do remember to post your suggestions in the comments about what a fun actual hamster pvp game would be because uh, well if it would work it, that would be quite awesome and uh, it would be so so much fun doing all the different maps for it and stuff so yeah if you got good su suggestions if you became inspired when i started talking about the hamsters needing to take take a dump <laughs> then go ahead this is frank thank you for watching bye bye